Today's podcast examines the background of the ballad The Cruel Ship's Carpenter and its earlier form known as the Gosport Tragedy, a tale of murder, a sea voyage and ultimate revenge. Along the way I sing excerpts from various ballad tunes and look at its known history. In Dublin's fair city, in Dublin's fair town, in Dublin's fair city, there lived a Miss Brown, for she courted a sailor for seven long years, and from the beginning he called her his dear. But one morning, very early, all by the break of day, for he came to her window, and to her he did say, Rise up, Bonnie Mary, and come along with me, for such things they will happen. And such things we will see. He took her over mountains, And he took her over dales, And he left his poor Mary, For to weep and for to wail. O sailor, O sailor, Come spare me my life, And out of his pocket, he drew a sharp knife. Oh, he stabbed her, and he ripped her, and he cut her in three, and he buried poor Mary underneath a green tree. This tune and words were collected in 1953 by Ewan McCall from the singing of Jeannie Robertson. The storyline is that William, a young ship's carpenter, has courted Polly, and she's pregnant. He's due to take a sea voyage, and on the pretense of visiting friends, he takes her to a new dug grave. Despite her pleas, he stabs her and buries her body along with that of the baby. William goes off to sea before the murder can be discovered. The captain of the ship announces that there's a murderer on board, because the ship is in mourning and refuses to sail. In some versions, there's a storm. William, along with the rest of the crew, denies any involvement in the murder. As he turns away from the captain, he meets Polly's ghost, and she rips him in three. The origins of this song can only be traced back to the mid-18th century, under the title of the Gosport Tragedy, also known as the Perjured Ship's Carpenter. It follows the ship's carpenter storyline, but when he murders Molly, or Polly, she is not pregnant. The ending has William haunted by Molly, until he asks for forgiveness of his murdered love confessing his crime, and dies in the night. Early versions of this ballad had up to 35 verses, and the text is filled with wordy melodrama. Professor David Fowler of the University of Washington has done some research in respect of the Gosport tragedy, and has brought up some possible evidence to link it to a real event in 1726. He linked the event to a ship named the Bedford, which sailed out of Gosport Harbour. The real-life character he names as John Bilson, a ship's carpenter who is thought to have murdered his unnamed sweetheart. It probably never had a traditional ballad source, but the themes within the ballad are common to other street and traditional ballads of the 17th and 18th century. It's generally felt that sometime in the early 1800s, the ballad, The Gosport Tragedy, was stripped down and a more dramatic ending added possibly borrowed from the ballad Willie's Fatal Visit, where the betrayer is also ripped and stripped in three, and printed under the general title of Polly's Love, although it's most often found in modern ballad books under the title The Cruel Ship's Carpenter. Oh William, oh William, oh pardon my life, I never will covet to be your wife. I'll travel the world over to set you quite free. Oh, pardon, oh, pardon, my baby and me. There's no pardon I'll give, there's no time to stand. So with that he had a knife in his hand. 
He stopped her heart till the blood it did flow, then into a grave her fur body did throw. He covered her up so safe and secure, thinking no one would find her, of that he was sure. He went on board to sail the world round, before the murder could ever be found. This version was collected by Lucy Broadwood from Henry Burstow of Horsham in Sussex. It's a variant of the well-known tune Dinah and his Villikins. The themes within Polly's love are quite common in both broadside and traditional ballads, where a crime has been committed, theft or murder, and the ship or elements, sensing a guilty party, refuses passage. Often lots are cast to find the guilty party. In most cases, the perpetrator is cast overboard and the ship is then able to proceed on its journey. This theme is taken up in ballads like The Banks of Green Willow, The Flame of Fire, also known as A Sailor by My Right, and Captain Glenn, The New York Trader, which are good examples of this type of ballad. These storylines were also exploited in prose literature of the Penny Dreadful and the Gothic Tales, so they must have had a deep impact in English social mythology. The song also fell afoul of being parodied in the early 19th century on the music theatre and the music halls under the title Molly the Betrayed, also known as the Fogbound Vessel, which was delivered in a mock Cockney dialect by Mr Moody, Mr Suet and Mr Palmer. There is quite a wide spread of the ballad The Cruel Ship's Carpenter throughout the British Isles and in North America. Versions collected from traditional singers often vary in the opening lines in respect of the location of the murder, as some of the general action within the ballad has variety, as one would expect. However, the main framework, general text and denouement, remains strongly intact. Some versions of the song mix both ballads together, usually retaining the gruesome ending of the ship's carpenter. Early one morning before the break of day Up came the captain and the sea did say There's a murderer on shipboard and it's lately been done Our good ship is mourning and cannot sail on Up came a sailor Indeed, sir, not I. Up came another, indeed, sir, not I. But up came young Willie to damn curse and swear. Indeed, sir, not I, sir, I vow and declare. As Willie was going and turning around, he met lovely Mary, she was dressed in brown. She catched him, she catched him, she tore him in three. Saying that's for the murder of baby and me. This tune and words were collected in 1953 from Paddy McCluskey of County Antrim by Peter Kennedy and Sean Boyle as part of the BBC Folk Song Gathering project. As is the nature of popular ballads, it has evolved into a different song in America, generally known under the title of Pretty Polly. It often disposes of the sea voyage and retribution, leaving behind a taunt murder ballad. Versions of the ballad were collected by nearly all the collectors of the early 20th century and into the audio collecting of the 1950s and 60s onwards. This is a fine ballad with a strong storyline and a chilling ending. I will end this podcast with a performance of the Gosport Tragedy. The words were collected by Frank Kidson and printed in English Peasant Songs of 1929. This version uses a different tune than the one collected by Frank Kidson and it returns the Cruel Ship's Carpenter ending. Oh, fair was the city and fair was the shire a lovely young damsel she once liveth there. A young man he courted her to be his dear, And he was by trade a ship's carpenter. And early one morning before it was day, He went to his Polly these words he did say, 
O oh, Polly, O oh, Polly, you must go with me, Before we are wet, my friends, far to see. And all through the groves and the valleys so deep, He made this young damsel to sob and to weep. He stabbed her heart till the red blood did flow, And into a grave her body did throw. He then went to sailing for fear she'd be found, But early one morning the captain came round. A murderer's on board here, and he must be known. Our ship is in mourning, she cannot sail on. Up stepped a sailor, God knows it's not me. Then up came another, God knows I am free. Then up starts young William, to stamp and to swear. Indeed it's not me, I vow and declare. Then he did move from the captain with speed. He met with his Polly, which made his heart bleed. She stripped him and tore him, she tore him in three. For black was his heart, for murdering she.